welcome to the Tarot Cottage. My name is Amy. I'm back again today with another pick a card reading for you. Um, I want to say a special thank you to my returning subscribers. You guys have helped me reach 35,000 this week and I'm just so excited and so happy about the growth of this channel and I have you to thank specifically. So thank you so much for supporting me and supporting my efforts here. I really, really appreciate it. And if you are finding yourself here for the very first time, we want to welcome you with open arms to our little community. I do daily pick a card readings. I do messages for soulmates and separation. So please join us, grab some snacks, a drink, a cup of tea, and we'll have a bit of a chat because we're all friends here at my table. So today's reading, sorry if you can hear my dog walking around. Today's reading is a prediction for the rest of 2020. What is coming up for you guys for the rest of 2020? We have three piles in front of you. We have pile number one with the bobcat spirit and the orange flower. We have pile number two with the badger spirit and the white flower. And we have pile number three with the coyote spirit and the yellow flower. So whichever pile or piles are calling out to you, just know there may be a message waiting for you from spirit today. I'm going to go ahead and jump into pile number one today. Again, a prediction for the rest of 2020. What is coming in for you guys? What blessings can you expect to show up for the rest of this year? Pile one. Hi, Pile One. Thank you for joining me today. You guys were drawn to the orange flower and the bobcat spirits. So you guys could be a Leo, perhaps. But either way, this is your reading. The rest of 2020 prediction for you today. The bobcat spirit it says life is a mystery. And this is the first time I'd ever pulled the bobcat spirit. So I was kind of surprised. Um, it's about deep introspection, this, this spirit animal. Um, it belongs to people who have a lot of ancient soul wisdom inside of them. So I feel like you guys are very evolved. I feel like you guys are very intuitive, perhaps. Um, and it's about, it comes around when we're about to, to open up secrets and to take a look at mysteries that are coming up in life. And it says underneath here, life is a mystery. So the bobcat is a very a loner type of animal. It is a mysterious type of person. I feel like you are a mysterious person. I feel like you kind of you could read tarot or you could be very spiritual we just we have the infinity symbol you just have a deeper understanding or you attempt to have a deeper under, understanding of spirituality and your place in this entire sort of realm in this entire world so beautiful beautiful energy off the bobcat spirit so group one what is coming up for you for the rest of 2020 what can you expect for these last three months, October, November, December, what can you expect for the rest of 2020? We have the Two of Coins, Two of Pentacles. I'm going to draw out a few cards and then we'll talk about them. The rest of 2020, October, whoops, November and December. We have the Nine of Coins. We have the King of Cups and we have the world coming out for you. Okay, let's clarify these cards and then we're going to talk about them. The rest of 2020, pile one. Five of swords. The rest of 2020, what can you expect? Pile one. Five of cups. The rest of 2020, page of coins. And to clarify the world, the rest of 2020, please, Spirit. Judgment. On the back of the deck, we have the Six of Coins. Okay, so for the rest of 2020, Group 1, what can you expect? What is coming up for you? If I start here with the back of the deck energy here, it's kind of an overhaul of how the rest of 2020 is going to go for you this next couple of months. And I see you guys having some offers coming in actually some valuable offers coming in and it's going to make you feel a little bit more productive it's going to make you feel more balanced i just feel like you guys have maybe struggled a little bit in this year obviously we've all struggled it's been such a weird weird year um, but i just see you having these offers coming in you can see somebody offering you something um and it's just to get you through the last couple of months and leading you into the next year which is you have abundance you have change coming in for 2021 and for the rest of this year it's just kind of leading up to that it's like this foundation time for you and i can see you guys in the near recent past you've been juggling a lot of responsibilities and you really feel like the highs and lows of life are getting to be a little bit too much for you with that two of coins and the five of swords it's like you feel like 
you're going around in circles, you're chasing your tail, and you're not getting anywhere sometimes. You guys could be struggling financially. Um, you guys are probably, you know, I can see that here with the page of coins because you guys have um, a valuable offer on its way to you, as I said over here. But you guys could have been struggling up until this point, kind of feeling like you have, a, it's like a no-win situation, like you can't possibly see a positive outcome because you've been through the ringer. Um, that Bobcat spirit is reminding us that we don't know what's coming to not sink too far deeply into our own kind of feelings, into this feeling of remorse or regret or sadness about what we used to have as opposed to what we still have going for us right now. We don't know what's coming. Life is a mystery. Things can change overnight. And that's what Spirit really wants to let you know, that you have a lot of abundance coming in for you and to not get stuck in this mindset of unhappiness of feeling like there's no way out, of feeling hopeless. Because I do feel like with these two cards here, with the Five of Swords, the Five of Cups, I feel like you have offers on the way that maybe you're going to not be able to see clearly because you're going to be so focused on not seeing the forest through the trees, not seeing the end game. Um, but Spirit is letting you know that you have some abundant things coming in for you. We have the Nine of Coins. We have the King of Cups with the Page of Coins. That page comes with it, valuable offers, valuable news coming in, and offers showing up for you that's going to really change and shake things up in your life. You guys could be changing jobs, going to bring you a lot more security. And then we have the King of Cups here because with this offer comes with this emotional, it's like a new emotional outlook, I feel. This new offer is really going to brighten your day. It's really going to brighten up the next couple of months and it's going to make you optimistic for the changes that are coming. You're finally going to feel like you're getting somewhere and that's exciting. It's, but again, it's a warning from spirit with some of these energies you guys are having leading up into this next couple of months. It's a warning that maybe you're kind of, you can't see the finish line so you're focusing on what you don't have. It's time for you to be grateful in the moment and to be in the present moment. Stop looking at the last, this past year. It was a crapshoot. <laughs> It's over. The next three months is what spirit really wants you to focus on and doing that by putting yourself in a positive mindset right now. We have the nine of coins here, which shows security on its way to you. After this time of struggle, after juggling and putting so much of your effort into everything, you're going to finally reap those rewards and benefit from that. And you're going to have a new emotional outlook, which I think is a beautiful thing. Um, over here, beautiful, beautiful energy with the world and the judgment, two major arcana in your reading, which really shows the themes that you need to pay attention to. And the next couple of months, the rest of 2020, you guys have a huge shakeup, a change, a new beginning upon you. Like I said, it could be as far as a job offer with the page of coins. You might even have a love offer on the way with that king of cups, an emotional new start. So with this financial windfall that's coming in or this financial opportunity it's going to put you in a positive mindset emotionally but with that king of cups like i said for some of you you may end up having love coming in a very important love offer but it's it's a renewal for you the rest of this year is about change for you and this whole year has been leading up to this change and it is major change that was destined for you the world shows that success you guys could have travel in your future um leading up to the end of the year with that world card but it's about success it's about closure it's about happiness and you're going to feel a lot more balanced you're going to feel a lot more optimistic about that future let's take a look and get some more information the rest of 2020 please spirit group number one life is a mystery that bobcat spirit I almost feel like it's not in your nature to normally be um, to normally be pessimistic, but because of how strange this year has been, it's like it's thrust you into this energy that's not like you. Because I do feel like you are very spiritual. You're able to usually look at things from a higher perspective. With that beautiful nine of coins riding on that bird. What is coming up for the rest of 2020? Pile one, please, spirit. The chariot. So yeah, decisions. And Spirit wants you to know that it's always your choice. You know, tarot is a roadmap for you, um, but it's always up to you to take those leaps of action. If you want to, to sit, oops, I just lost the card. <laughs> if you want to sit in these feelings, Spirit will sit there with you, um, but they just want to let you know that that's kind of holding you back from progress, and that's what you want to see is progress. 
Um, that chariot card tells you to leap and charge into the future with determination and willpower, even when you don't see the finish line. The chariot is cancer energy. You know, you guys could be very emotional people. And I feel like you've been working towards these changes for a long time. I just spy the, um, the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Wands here over top of the Nine of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. It really shows that these emotional um, regrets and, and focusing on the negative is really keeping you trapped. It's like you feel like you're so close to breaking through. You're so close, but you're getting defensive because you can't see that finish line. You can charge through those wands with that chariot. You can literally plow through with that determination. We have the Queen of Pentacles, so security on its way to you once you're able to free yourself from these limiting beliefs that you have in your mind with the Eight of Swords. You know, it's a self-imposed imprisonment. You put yourself in that place, but you have major shifts coming if you're willing to step out of your comfort zone. Take those masks off and see that some of your worries, some of your struggles are farther away now than what they were when you first started worrying about them. This Queen of Pentacles with that King of Cups and the Page of Coins shows that this offer coming in is going to leave you feeling very financially secure with the Queen of Pentacles. And again, this is going to shift your, your feelings emotionally. You're going to be feeling so abundant. You're going to be feeling generous. You're going to be feeling just full of love because you're so happy in that moment. Back of the deck, we have the King of Swords. It's time to be logical. It's time to be a leader in your own life. Um, he is unfeeling when it comes to certain things. And that's a good thing in this case because they see, you know, your guides see you kind of focusing too much on the negative, too much on these emotions. Because, you, again, you could be a water sign. And the spirit wants you to look at things logically. It's okay to plow through. It's okay to, to take a really valid look at, at how you've been feeling and then make a conscious effort to change those feelings. Okay. Rest of 2020 advice spirit, please. Rest of 2020 advice. A long way home. This is a, such a beautiful, beautiful card. Such a gorgeous card from the um, Oracle of Mystical Moments. And this card is just really about gathering up memories on our voyage of life, you know, and how things are in constant change. And that's why, you know, when we say life is a mystery, it's because things are in constant change and we need to be kind of ready to go with that flow and collect those memories as we go, but not letting them to hold us back or to kind of um, bog us down. We all have choices to make. We can drop anchor whenever we want. And I feel like that's such a beautiful message for your reading today. Whoops. We have day and night. Beautiful card as well from the beautiful mystical. I always, Oracle of Mystical Moments. I always get it. I always get it mixed up. And this card is about, you know, uncertainty and having fears and worries and knowing that you have decisions to make and following those instincts that you have. Because you guys are very strong, as I said, you know, you guys are very strong intrinsically as far as your um, spiritual understanding and your spiritual education. I feel like you guys already know a lot of secrets of life. And it's really about following your instincts and choosing wisely in your, in your you know, moving forward in your life. You can see the sun here is warming the path that she's deciding to take. And just know that that's Spirit's promise to you that... Going into um, situations, making changes in your life that are for the better um, creates this beautiful momentum and spirit just really wants to see you charge into that momentum. They really want to see you step into this abundance that is rightfully yours. We have be bold, make the first move in your life. It's okay to do something afraid. It's okay to It's okay to be optimistic. It's okay to hope for more. Communication is key, new moon and Gemini. Clearly deciding what you want with from the universe and communicating that um, is a great way to start 
and start this process of change, start this process of self-awareness. Look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. And then we also had nothing is yet set in stone. And that's truly about your decisions to be made. Like we said, you, you have decisions to make with that chariot energy. Nothing is set in stone in your life because life is a mystery. And that's such a beautiful kind of, whoops, I just dropped. that's such a beautiful um, message to go along with your Bobcat spirit card here because life is a mystery. Nothing is set in stone because you're writing your own story as you go along. You're writing the story with your thoughts, feelings, and emotions for your future. So time to manifest some wonderful, wonderful things for you. angel messages for you counselor you're a natural counselor and many people will benefit from your guidance and reassurance and like i said you're very spiritually based i feel like you guys are like on your way to be guides um maybe in another lifetime you guys are just you have an instinctual knowing always take what resonates in my readings and leave what doesn't but we have nurture as you nurture your child, nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child, and both activities are important right now. Um, I recently did this exercise where I communicated with my former self as a child, and it was very cathartic, and maybe that's something that would be helpful for you and able to move past some of these um, painful memories of the past, maybe that are holding you back. Prosperity is on its way to you. And you saw that with the page of coins, this valuable offer that is coming. And I feel like the valuable offer might come um, towards the end of November for some of you. Take what resonates. But this valuable offer that's going to bring in abundance with that queen of pentacles and an emotional new start for you. It's on its way to you. It says, follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. Let's get some messages from your angels and guides. It's time to let go it's time to let go of, of all of those feelings um all of the stuff that happened for the first half of 2020 it's time to release that because if we hold on to that horrible energy it's just going to bring us more in the future and we definitely want to leave that behind it's time for us to move into better energy for sure the present is a gift it's time to enjoy it putting yourself in that positive mindset right now is a wonderful way to jump start your future you need to teach others you are a counselor people are going to benefit from what you accomplish from the this offer that you have whatever you're bringing to the world people are going to benefit from that and you are a natural born leader you're very intuitive trust this feeling and you are a powerhouse of manifestation because of those powers inside of you and i feel like it's you're so close to tapping into that power and once you do, it's like the floodgates will open and all of this prosperity is going to come literally pouring down for you. You're just, you're blocking a little bit right now. You're my, you are manifesting financial abundance. Oops, and this one here. Reach out for help when you need it. No man is an island. That bobcat spirit is kind of a, a loner, a little bit of a loner, um, but it's okay to reach out for help. You don't have to do everything by yourself. Two more here. You can manifest true love along with your powerhouse abilities of manifesting money and, and all this abundance. You can manifest the love you want in life as well. And we do have that King of Cups. As I said, for some of you, you are manifesting that love within the next three months. Ask and it shall be given to you. This is just, again, an extension of your manifestation powers because you're intuitive, because you have this ability within you it's amazing what, what you're capable of. Let's get some charms for you. Whoops. Charms for my charm bowl here. And our flower pot of charms. Okay, that should be. We have the three of wands, or sorry, the two of wands. And temperance so you're about to embark on a brand new adventure the world is literally in your hands you you know it's your oyster you can have whatever you want it's just about taking that first step and all of this is going to restore the balance that you've been feeling unbalanced in your life 
We have here the Rune of Balance. <laughs> the Starfish. Whoops. Gemini in the bowl. The Starfish is um, a great, it's water energy. You could be a water sign with the Starfish and the shell in the bowl. Um, but it's just about regenerating, healing yourself from past pain, past wounds. Um, and healing yourself from within so that you can keep that faith and hope alive within yourself. And this flat shell reminds me of the Empress. Just a reminder of the abundant person that you are and what you have to offer the world. We have a little um, religious charm here. And it is Jesus as a shepherd. Don't be afraid to reach out to your guides because they are literally here to guide you. And as I said earlier, I feel like some of you guys are almost on your way to becoming guides in another lifetime. So don't be afraid to reach out for that help spiritually um, through meditation um, or that sort of thing, whatever you use to prayer, whatever, whatever you use to connect to the other side. Okay, group one, that is your reading for the rest of 2020 prediction for you. If this resonated, I would love to hear about it in the comment section. I would love for you to join me and subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell. But mostly I hope that you come back and visit me on another day here. And I hope you have a great day today. Bye guys. Hello, pile two. You were drawn to this pretty white flower or perhaps to the badger spirit here. But either way, this is your prediction for the rest of 2020. So for October, November, and December, what can you guys expect as far as changes and blessings coming in for you? The badger spirit is sort of similar in energy to that bobcat spirit that we started out with. It's kind of a loner energy, but these creatures are amazing diggers. It's, it calls for you to dig deep. It says be fearless and be bold at the bottom of the deck. And sometimes I feel like maybe you guys are type of loners a little bit. And I mean that in the most, I'm a loner. Like I, I prefer to be by myself a lot of times because other people's energies are just too much. Um, so it's about digging deep and seeing things from um, a different perspective than most. Um, what I find interesting is that the badger spirit is sometimes, they're sometimes known as being quite, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, dangerous <laughs> a little bit. Maybe some people kind of have this idea, like maybe you have this idea that you're not approachable or some people um, don't feel like they can approach you, but there's also um, a sense of you having a really good sense of humor um, with the badger spirit. You like to tell stories. Badgers are very vocal. They like to tell stories. They have a unique voice. Um, so maybe you're a writer. You like to tell stories. So that may resonate with you. But what is coming up for you for the rest of 2020? Okay, we have the Three of Pentacles. For the next three months, this could be a foundation time for you. Planting some seeds. And it's a great time to start that because we're coming up on a um, new moon in a couple of days here. So it's a great time to plant those seeds of what you want to manifest for the future. We have eight of wands, so some fast movement coming in. Whoops. Three of swords and the four of wands here. So let's clarify some of these cards before we get into it. Clarifying that three of pentacles, spirit, please. Two of wands. Clarifying the eight of wands. Nine of cups. Clarifying the three of swords. Five of Pentacles. And to clarify the Four of Wands, we have the Ace of Swords. And on the back of the deck, we have the Two of Swords. So let's talk about, I feel like pulling this one too, the Judgment card. So let's talk about what is coming up for you, Group 2, for the rest of 2020. So if I start over here at the back of deck energy, it's sort of an overhaul um, of how the rest of your year is going to go. And you guys have a new beginning that you're about to embark upon for the rest of 2020 that you're going to bring into 2021, but Spirit is letting you know that it's your decision to take this new beginning or not. Spirit wants you to know that it is your choice with the Two of Swords, and you may not be able to make the decision clearly yet. <laughs> like It's like they're seeing you blocking that decision making by wearing those masks. You're not seeing things 100% clearly here, and there's a call for that to end. Um, if we start over here with the Three of Pentacles and the Two of Wands, I can see that you really want to expand something. You might want to expand some kind of business or you might want to expand a relationship or some kind um, for the rest of 2020. 
but I see this as a foundation time for you to embark upon this journey, whether it be going towards a relationship, whether it be going towards um, creating a new business or starting a new job. It's just about putting in that work and, and planting the seeds for success now so that by the end of 2020, you'll be reaping those benefits, all of those rewards and all that clarity will come in for you. Uh, but it's about planting those seeds now. And it's really important to do that because change is coming and it's coming at you fast and you have this possibility to truly heal your heart. It's like all of your wishes that you want to have happen, you can literally have. You can have the happiness and success in a relationship if that's what you're looking for. You can have that abundance if that's what you're looking for. But it's about that shift in mindset. Because as I said, with that eight of wands, you have change coming in at you fast. And part of this change is an ability to heal your heartbreak sadness from the past maybe some poverty emotional or otherwise that you've been struggling with but you have to take those leaps you have to take chances and start building that foundation now in order to pull you can see this character is pulling those swords out asking for help collaborating with people is important right now as well but i see the that there's been some um financial difficulties perhaps with the five of pentacles maybe some emotional poverty as well just feeling kind of heartbroken um for what has happened so far in 2020 for you and it's like you're maybe you're a little bit scared to kind of wish for a new beginning this is sort of very similar energy to the first pile so you might find a message there as well but it's about you know all of your hopes and dreams communicating them very clearly to the universe and planting those seeds now putting yourself in that positive mindset and it's about clarity. You know, we have the two of swords here wearing that mask. You're not seeing things clearly in order to make that decision to leap into this new beginning. But spirit is saying, take those masks off because clarity is coming in for you. And if you want it, you can have success, happiness, celebration of the four of wands. If you're wondering about love, the four of wands can represent twin flame soulmate relationships coming in for you. And that will, that will bring in about a new change for you with this ace of swords. That's a valuable offer. That's clarity and truth coming in. And with this judgment card, again, that's a new beginning. You can see it's a resurrection of sorts. Like coming back from the dead kind of, you know, feeling here. We have the nine of cups here underneath that eight of wands. And I, you know, when I said with the eight of wands, we have change coming quickly at you in the next couple of months. You guys just really need to focus on what your deepest desires are. What are your dreams? What are your hopes? Don't be scared to hope for the, hope for the, you know, hope for the world. You just need to clearly decide what you want and then push through these feelings of lack, push through these feelings or these experiences of lack to get through to the other side. Let's clarify this for you. The rest of 2020, the Badger Spirit, what is coming? It says, be fearless and bold on that card. And that Eight of Wands represents that boldness, represents that charging in. The rest of 2020, please, Spirit. The Tower. So there's going to be a major shakeup for you. Things, there's, things are already in motion. And there's no going back. <laughs> so spirit is saying, you know, you've already kind of, t you've already had those inspired ideas. Things have, are already in motion. Um, the tower is kind of like uh, unstoppable change, chaos. It can feel chaotic. Sometimes that can make you feel, you know, like you're not in control a little bit. But it can also be epiphanies. It can also be like a shot from out of the blue that tells you where you need to be and what you need to be doing. And I feel like you guys have that epiphany on your plate right now. Page of Wands, embarking on that new journey, embarking on those hopes and dreams. Some of you have love on the way, again, with this Four of Cups. We have the Page of Pentacles. A valuable offer is on its way to you with that Page of Pentacles. It's going to solve all of these feelings. Like I said, you have this valuable offer. It could be in the form of a new job, a new relationship. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But this valuable offer coming in is what's going to take those swords out of your back. It's going to heal that heart. It's going to fix this um, poverty, whether it be financial or emotional, this offer coming in is going to help to heal those energies. We have, you know, the Ace of Pentacles. That's a, a valuable offer. News. 
and it's coming at you quickly and I feel like it's going to come at you around November maybe the beginning of November again take what resonates and leave what doesn't and you've been waiting for a while for this the Knight of Pentacles you know it's a slow moving but it's a steadfast energy and spirit wants you to know that you've been working towards this slowly and steadily it's about planting those seeds you will get the you know everything that you want you're going to get at the end of the day if you work hard towards it and if you take those risks and leap into that new beginning we have the four of pentacles here this person is amassing what they want in life they're holding on to it there is a sense with you that you may fear about gaining some momentum in life and then losing it there's that fear inside of you but fear does nothing but hold us back advice advice for group two advice it's time to clearly decide what you want with the four of swords retreat spend some time in prayer in meditation um so you can be clear in your mind about your next steps you need to make a plan. This is a foundation time for you. The next three months is going to lead you into abundance. And these offers are coming in before the end of the year. Um, and they're going to lead to this abundance moving forward into 2021. We have the beautiful star. Beautiful energy from spirit. Letting you know that it is your turn to dream. Okay. We also have two of cups and the wheel of fortune coming out for you. A sudden turn of events coming in your life like I said this re resurrection and for some of you this new opportunity is coming in the form of love a twin flame soulmate relationship as I mentioned earlier because when you put yourself in a positive mindset even in a financial place and you're working towards goals all of a sudden your vibration is super high and all of the abundant love offers are on their way to you because it's attractive to you it's being drawn into you like a magnet Whoop, back of the deck and I don't think that was an accident this fell off we have the Sun but we also have the five of Pentacles underneath here so these are choices you guys this is a choice you guys have to make this is what's waiting for you you just have to embark upon that journey and let this shake up this breakdown of the tower energy let it happen go with the flow because you have some beautiful things that want to come in for you The end of a tough cycle is approaching for you. You guys have struggled in the past. You guys have been kind of sad and heartbroken. See, maybe you've struggled financially. That cycle is ending. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. Nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. And this is, again, a reminder from Spirit, just like I mentioned over here with the back of deck energy. You know, nothing is set in stone. You can continue, Spirit wants you to always know that if you want to stay in a negative mindset or stay in a place of emotional poverty, that they will sit with you if you're not ready to move on from that feeling. They will sit with you in those feelings, but what they want to see you is to, they want to see you thrive. They want to see you step into your abundance. And that's why this card shows up. It's nothing is yet set in stone because this is a roadmap for you, but you make the choices. You, I can offer you... 10 million dollars tomorrow but if you don't extend your hand to take it then that's really a, a, not a very valuable offer for you we've got a bunch falling out so i'm going to reshuffle but i'll take the top one brilliant idea your idea is divinely guided take action time to take action we got a bunch flipping your angels want to talk to you courage and outdoors get outside get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve your stress and gain your new creative ideas connecting with the earth is a wonderful way to ground yourself be courageous and stand up for what you want and what you believe We have Touch the Sky. This is a beautiful card from the um, Oracle of Mystical Moments. Um, and it's really about, you know, there's a lifeline being hung down for you from spirit. They want you to soar. They want you to know that you're limitless. And it's like they're, you're, they're sitting on your shoulder whispering all of this encouragement into your ears. They want to see you fly. They want to see you 
reach all of your potential. Be fearless and be bold, that badger spirit. It's time for you to fully bloom. And you know, it's, it's interesting, this is number five. We have the five of pentacles here and feeling like emotionally kind of neglected or feeling financially like you're struggling a lot. It's time for you to bloom. It's time for you to soar. It's time for you to have those expectations of success. Because here we have weaving flowers on the back of the deck. You are truly creating the life of your dreams through your thoughts, feelings, and actions. You are creating all of your experiences. So it's time for you to expect good things in your life. Let's get some words of encouragement from your guides, from your angels. Unstoppable change is coming. We had that tower card, so that's kind of fitting um, for your pile. Lay your worries at the foot of the cross. And it's so funny, you know, that... Um, that card came up because when I saw this card and I was looking down at the 33, I thought, you know, that's the age of our Lord when he was crucified. I thought about that. So that's interesting. Could be um, someone who really reaches out to Jesus a lot in your times of need. Open your arms to receive the abundance. Like I said earlier, if someone wants to give you something and you don't accept it, that abundance isn't yours anymore. Your inspiration is divinely guided. Your brilliant idea that came up twice for you. So whatever inspired idea that you're thinking about embarking upon, that is the idea that's going to bring you all of your dreams come true. It's going to end all this financial, um, financial difficulties and bring you a lot of clarity in your life. Stop looking backwards into fear. Oops. Learn to say no to people in life. I struggle with that. I struggle with saying no to people when they ask for things. It's time to shift your perspective. And we also have, we have heard you scream out to God. God wants you to know that he heard you yelling at him. Um, and that's okay. He understands acutely where you're coming from. Keep your chin up in times when you're feeling discouraged. In times of that sadness of the three of swords, try to keep it a positive perspective because spirit really doesn't want you to halt any progress that you may have moving forward get some charms for you a teeny tiny tarot if you are new here i use i do charm bowl after every pile and i use teeny tiny tarot and some charms to kind of extend your reading oh the fool and i always you know give my interpretation of the charms but i always encourage people to really see what they want to see in the charm pool you know if you see something and it means something different to you then that's your message i ramble but <laughs> we have the fool and we have the seven of wands so you guys have felt struggle you felt kind of blocked maybe your abundance has felt blocked to you but spirit wants you to know you can charge through that you can be fearless you can be bold you can charge through those obstacles and they really want that they're nipping at your heels they're kind of trying to give you a little nudge off the edge of that cliff because they want you to know that you have a lot to offer the world. You have a lot of abundance coming in that's maybe been blocked for a bit. We have E and U. We have the charming Libras and the intuitive Pisces in the bowl today. So you could be a Pisces or a Libra. We have a rose. The rose shows up when it's a symbol of um, love from heaven. Um, I always think of St. Teresa of throwing down roses from heaven. So Teresa might be an important name to you. We have the seahorse. It's time for you guys to let go and go with the flow. You know, a seahorse will wrap its tail around seaweed and kind of hang out there for a while. But it's time for you to release. It's time for you to let, let fate take you where it's going to take you. Because it's exciting and it's new and it's an adventure. And that's what life is. We have the puzzle piece with forever written on it. It's a, it's a two-piece ring. Um, someone that I went to high school with has the other piece. And, you know, I had that Two of Cups card coming out for you. So you guys could have a, a soulmate relationship coming in for you before the end of the year. We have the rabbit from the Wizard of Oz. You're late, you're late, you're late for a very important date. No time to say goodbye. Hello, you're late, you're late, you're late. So, you know what? Spirit's just saying, maybe this is a long time coming. We had that Knight of Pentacles. You've been wanting these things for a long time. And they're just saying, 
the only thing that's standing in the way is you. So they're saying you're late for this. It's time for you to have that peace and to keep that hope alive. Oh, we have one here that's flipped over. Love and beloved. Remember who you are. You are a spiritual being having a human experience. I think of the word Amy or the name Amy when I see beloved because that's what my name means. So you could be named Amy as well. Okay, group two, that is your reading. Um, this is what is coming up for your, your prediction for the rest of 2020. If this resonated, I would love to hear about it in the comment section. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and become a part of this family. Um, please hit the like button, hit the notification button. Check me out on Instagram too, because I'm over there. But mostly I hope that you guys come back and visit me on another day. And I hope that you have a wonderful day today. Bye. Hello, pile number three. You were drawn to this yellow flower or to the coyote spirit. And this is your reading. Um, what is coming up for you for the rest of 2020, October, November, December? What is coming for you guys? We have trust in divine detours here with the coyote spirit. And, you know, it's a very playful creature. It's um, There's hidden wisdom, though. They're kind of overlooked as an intelligent animal. There is hidden wisdom. I feel like you guys are very playful. I feel like you guys have a great sense of humor. And sometimes people kind of overlook you or maybe they don't see how intelligent you are, how smart you are. It's about balancing inner wisdom and that playfulness. It's like you don't take things too seriously in life. But sometimes people have that impression of you, again, that you're not that you don't take things seriously. And that's not the case. You're ready to plow through obstacles. It's just that you don't take, it's like you don't, you don't sweat the small stuff in life. Or maybe that's just a, uh, a message from spirit not to sweat the small stuff in life. Maybe they see you doing that too much, but let's see what's coming up for you. What is coming up for you for the rest of 2020 group three for October, November, and December? What can you expect? What changes? And it's a great time for us to look into this because we're, um, the new moon um, is upon us. So we're going to be getting a full moon here in a couple of days. and the, Or maybe by the time this is released, it'll have already happened. <laughs> but it's a good time to plant those seeds for manifestation for what you want for the rest of the year and also for 2021. So what is happening for you in 2020? The Page of Swords to start your reading the moon so let's what is coming for you the rest of 2020 the hanged man interesting let's clarify that page of swords i just threw your card on the floor oh getting old we have oh death okay what's happening for you guys the rest of 2020 Clarifying the moon, the king of cups, clarifying the hanged man, the seven of cups. And on the back of the deck, we have the two of wands. Okay. We also have the seven of wands. I kind of feel like pulling here. And on the back of this deck as well, you have the, the sun. So I'm just going to put that deck right there for a moment while we talk about this. So. The back of the deck energy is where I'd like to begin because it's kind of an overhaul of how the rest of 2020 is going to go for you. And here we have the two of wands and the seven of wands. So you guys might be focused on love for the rest of 2020 um, and really wanting to embark upon a new relationship with someone. You might have somebody in your mind already that you're thinking of that you would really like to connect with or expand your connection with them. Um, and you're just, you maybe you're worried about obstacles on the way to this person. We have the seven of, of wands here as well, which shows those obstacles towards this adventure, this advancement somehow. But if we move over here to the page of swords and the, the death card, it is a call for an ending. So it's a call for an ending. For some of you, you may be um, gaining a little bit of clarity and ending some type of relationship, revealing your truth. And as soon as I said that, I had to pause to cough. <clears throat> It's like you've been holding back your truth for a long time with that moon card and feeling really hung up the last couple of months. The first half of 2020, I really, or the first three quarters, I guess, of 2020, really had you feeling stuck, feeling like you can't, like you have no options at times. I feel like you felt really like you're waiting around 
for the universe to make waves for you or make a way for you to be happy. Some of you are, are wanting to expand into new careers, perhaps, but there's a lot of love floating around this reading here. But there is here a call for clarity and a call for ending with the death card. And the death card is not about a physical death. Usually it's about, you know, a new beginning. This person is really focused on something that has happened here that has ended. And they're really too focused on that, that it's distracting them from that beautiful dawn of the new day, from that sunshine that's peeking up from this sun that wants to come up over the horizon. So somebody is focusing too hard on an ending. And, you know, the the Page of Swords wants to clear, clear that up. They want truth paramount. They're curious. They like to swoop in and kind of get information. And so Spirit is really asking you to take a look at things logically because once you're able to release some of that fear with this moon energy and release some of this feeling of being hung up and actually taking an active role in your life. Like I feel like you guys are kind of waiting for the universe to make a way when the universe is telling you that you need to make the way you need to take that leap. You have a lot of options open to you. And for some of you, you have this King of Cups sitting here in the middle of your reading. This could be your energy. You could be a water sign. You could be somebody who's really full of love and compassion and you really want to extend that. And you feel like you can't reveal it to the person that you truly care about. I feel like you don't know where you stand with this person if you are resonating with that message with the Seven of Cups. And you see a lot of obstacles in the way of them. Let's get some clarity for you. What is coming for the rest of 2020? What is coming for the rest of 2020, please, Spirit? Yeah, you have a new start. You have somebody coming in. Um, the Knight of, of Wands there is, is a charismatic, charming, attractive person charging in towards you. That could be your energy too, charging into your new beginning. Charging in, finally accepting the ending of this and charging forward. We have the Four of Pentacles. The rest of 2020, what is happening? The rest of 2020. The four of ghosts and on the back of the deck we have the ten of pumpkins and the star <laughs> i feel like pulling that one too okay group three what is coming for the rest of 2020 so i can see that you're maybe fearful of accepting some of these love offers that want to make their way to you and i do see you guys having perhaps multiple love offers coming in before the end of 2020 but it's almost like you're so focused on this ending over here of your past that you don't even see the offers you don't even recognize them as valuable offers because you're trying to protect your heart as well with the four of pentacles you're trying to protect yourself and trying not to lose what you have gained which is some of your self-respect i feel like but spirit is saying that some of these offers are here for you to offer you some stability offer you some of that security that you're looking for you could be looking for a home situation or financial abundance and spirit is saying that by the end of 2020 that's coming in for you as long as you're able to accept the offers that are available to you and like i said you have multiple offers on the table the star card at the back of the deck alongside that beautiful sun card is telling you not to lose hope in yourself in this situation whether you're asking about love or your finances you have abundance coming in but you have to be willing to see the offers as they come in and like i said earlier i feel like some of you have really given too much power over to the quote unquote universe and i put air quotes around that because you are the universe and i think that that's what people forget that you are creating your own future fate and free will is yours and you have to open your arms to receive lots of offers coming in some of them very valuable but it's about taking that first step of expansion with the two of wands here. It's about leaping into your new beginning and plowing through any obstacles that get in your way. Sometimes things don't happen the way you think they're going to happen with the coyote spirit here. It says trust in divine t detours. Things have not worked out for 2020 the way you wanted them to. <laughs> Six and one is seven. That's obstacles. It's been very obstacle ridden for the first three quarters of the year. But 
the good news is that this detour is about to bring you a lot of security, a lot of financial abundance, a lot of, um, there could be family on the way to you, children in the future, but it's just, it's that stepping stone. It's about taking that leap and charging forward and not being scared about hurt, getting hurt because in that pain that you experienced in the past is part of who you are now. And it's part of, you have learned so much through it. It has carried you up to this point. It's carried you to this point where you're able to now accept these gifts, hopefully that come in and to reap the benefits of what you've sown. Advice. The world card. <laughs> The world is at your fingertips. You just have to open your arms to receive. And we have that two of wands. And if you think of the traditional Rider weight um, deck of the two of wands, that person is holding the world in their hand, standing on that, you know, and standing out and looking up, out on the horizon, making their plans. You have success waiting for you. The sun, the star, don't lose hope in what can be. The empress, children could be in your future as well. Don't forget who you are. Nine of Wands again. And I see like this is bringing you guys some anxiety perhaps. We have the Nine of Swords at the back of the deck. It's bringing you some anxiety to think about moving forward. You've lost sleep on this because change is really scary. Detours in life, you know, if you're a planner, if that's the type of person you like to be, change can be scary. Unexpected change can be scary. But sometimes some of the most amazing experiences and the most amazing adventures come out of these detours in life. And, you know, that Knight of Wands showing up twice, he's an adventurer. You could be a fire sign, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. You don't have to be, but you're an adventurer. You're playful. You're curious. And maybe you've kind of lost some of that playfulness, some of that curiosity because you've been worried about being hurt in the past or you've been through the ringer and you've suffered an ending. But... They want you to just get back some of those feelings, get back some of that, that vigor for life, that curiosity, that excitement that wants to come in. Balance spirituality and practicality and expect some powerful change in your life. It says full moon Pisces, new moon eclipse. Oops, just lost one. A new start is coming. It's coming. And Spirit wants you to know that, you know, it's coming whether you like it or not. This, you know, change is constant. Nothing changes if nothing changes and change is constant. So it's going to keep happening. Advice from your angels for the rest of 2020, please, Spirit. sensitivity you're extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now honor yourself and your feelings you guys are going through an ending right now I feel like you guys are going through gaining some clarity letting go of something or someone it's important maybe you're a writer creative writing make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen an article or book that can be a great meditative tool and it's a great way to even keep track of change in your life All is well. Everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. On the back of the deck, your advice is to go outside, get some fresh air, connect with nature, to relieve stress, and gain new creative ideas. Bloom. It's time for you to bloom. It's time for you to reap the benefits of what you deserve in life. It's time for you to have hope that you have happiness. Oh, we have the Ace of Pentacles on the back of the deck. A valuable offer, valuable news coming in for you. Let go of any feelings of lack. Release them. We have home in the sky. So these birds can escape this house whenever they want to. They can fly wherever they wish. They are not stuck by their circumstances in life. 
And this is a wonderful um, card for you because it really talks about home being where the heart is. And it's about being an adventurer and being a seeker and knowing that you're safe even in those times of wandering. You know, it's about wandering life. And it's about having a wanderlust, which I feel like you do. I feel like you guys really want, you want adventure, but something has stopped you or scared you from wanting to move forward into those adventures, which is, is not good <laughs> because it's not your, it's not who you are. Let's get some encouraging words from your guides and your angels. Look around and be still and then be grateful. So it's a great reminder from spirit to stay in the present moment, to realize that the present is a gift, that the future, there's no point in worrying about it, and the past is gone. Reach out for help when you need it. I feel like some of you are going to be traveling. Your future includes travel. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> You guys just, you, you want that adventure. You're stuck at being st stuck at home. Do something creative this week and take some time to recharge as well. You guys are creative. I feel like you, oh, you guys got tons falling out here. Let's see what we got. Keep your chin up in those times when you're feeling discouraged. In these moments of anxiety or being kept up at night, perhaps worrying. A new love is on its way to you, but it's time to shift that perspective. And that's been a common sort of theme in all of the readings today. It's about shifting that perspective, getting yourselves ready for the next couple of months so that 2021 can be the best year yet. Let's make 2021 the best year yet. We have two more here for you. You're very intuitive. Time to trust that intuition. And get a hold of your frustration and try to center yourself. Again, in the present moment, being grateful. We have on the back of the deck, I feel like mentioning giving up now is not the answer. So if you felt like kind of thrown in the towel, any of these search in love or in, don't do it yet. Except for this death card that's calling for an ending. <laughs> Some teeny tiny tarot for you in the charm bowl today. 2020 the rest of 2020 what is happening Whoa. what do we have today in the charm bowl we have the emperor and we have the devil so what's been keeping you trapped is there some sort of father type energy or some sort of like serious person like you're the jokester you're the happy person is there somebody that's keeping you trapped? Is that what this ending is supposed to be about? This person that's not serving you? Um, the emperor is very stoic and serious and something is keeping you kind of tethered. You're feeling fearful. You're feeling trapped. It's time to listen to the communication from your guides. Zed here. We have the starfish and a curled shell. That starfish is a reminder to heal yourself from within. It can regenerate limbs. Um, you can heal yourself from any pain or trauma from the past. It's about healing your inner child and not losing hope in your future. We have a quarter. The 25th of the month could be important to you or the year 1974. Um, the elk spirit is about determination and leadership. We have a commandment from the Bible. Remember the Sabbath day. Don't forget to, to reach out to spirit. Don't forget to reach out to God and trust that they're leading you. Trust that they're right there beside you. And we have a little commit a little shepherd Jesus as a shepherd again spirit is guiding you through these tough times they're right there beside you when you feel like you're alone you are not alone the Lord is thy shepherd you shall not want okay group number three that is your reading if this resonated with you I would love to hear about it in the comment section I would love for you to subscribe to my channel or hit that notification bell if you feel called to um, but even liking this video helps me to bring more content to you and I hope that you come back and visit me on another day. And I really hope that you have a wonderful day today. Bye.